the golden sun reflects in the sky and the lake. I cannot believe that. There is no big animal, but uh, such small creatures is common. Look at the sky. Is it going to rain? I have left the two dark legs yesterday. Uh, I have it now. Uh, I just finished one leg and it started raining. Uh, I'll put the uh, firewood under the shelf and put cover. On my back. It stopped raining. I leave this camp and explore the lake. I must be careful stepping on this grass. There are some cattle feces on this trail. Is it mean the cattle is coming to drinking water? On this road, this feces can't be so big pile. Is it camel? And uh, here comes the lake. Oh. The earth under my foot is not hard. Oh, I must stay away from it. Oh, look at that. Do you know which kind of animal have such giant footprint? Wash my hands for my own safety. I will not see him here. It started raining again. I'd better go back. The water surface area is just a small portion of the small Alec Lake. The rain becomes heavier. Uh, I put a cover on my back and uh, everything under the back the firewood attached uh, in the middle. Uh, I guess I can just uh, stay in my tent. It was stopped raining and the sun came out. I will put up my tent and uh, prepare for my lunch. Due to the bad condition road, uh, my tomatoes is scratched and the eggs are broken. I'll have tomato eggs noodles for lunch. Cut the tomatoes into pieces. Only one out of six eggs is broken. Stir all eggs in a bowl. Light the fire and put the pot on it. Add some oil. Pull the stirred eggs. Stir it when it comes solid. Add the tomatoes. When it's boiling, add soybean sauce. Add chicken powder. It's ready when it's boiling again and put the dish away and boil in noodles. Add some water and put on cover. When you start boiling, add some noodles.
those the noodles in the pot. Add the cover and wait before boiling again. The noodles is ready. Serve it on the dish. I have already eaten a part of the dish. Stir it and begin to eat. A group of wild camels are drinking water here now. They find me and are looking at me. I packed my bag and collect all the garbage. Uh, I think I'm going to leave here right now. Uh, the camels are still drinking water. Um, I'm going to find uh, the next camp from small Alec Lake uh, to Alec Lake. I'm on the main road right now. Uh, here is an engineering vehicle and uh, a small car of tourists. It was used to be workers' temporary rooms, but it was falling down now. The road is too unflat, uh, but the pressure vehicle pressed road is flat. Uh, I think they are constructing the road. I see a bridge tunnel. Uh, I'll check if I can rest in it for a while. The sun is high up in the sky. I will rest here for five hours. Checking up emails. The signal is not well under the bridge, so I will put my phone outside the bridge to get the best connectivity. Bridge tunnels are preferred location to set up camp, but uh, uh, I have not ride uh, much kilometers. Uh, I think it's afternoon. I can go now. Push the back up the road. Finally, push it up. A water tank is spurling water ahead of me and uh, is making the road wet. Uh, it's not easy to ride on a wet mud road, so it's better to go. A pressed vehicle is ready to walk after the road is spraying by water. Railway bridge. After crossing the bridge, the surface of the road becomes hard. The road surface becomes soft again. The workers are measuring the road and set up labels. I think this road is going to be innovated soon. A team of trucks dumped 
uh, huge of mud here. Uh, I guess I'll go there. There is a small road near the electric wires poles. Uh, I'll write here. The small road is wet, but I see the end of the mud dumps. So I'll push it forward here and uh, then go back to uh, Big Road. By my two days observations, I think I figured out how to pave a road. First, measure it and set up labels. Second, dump mud at its level. Third, spring waters. Four, treasure it. And then you can put uh, pour any materials on it. Am I correct? Why is there a single oil draining machine? My guess is that geologists find oils under the ground. So the oil company build up road, then build up oil fields, and then build up industrial complex. And then a new town born in the desert. This single oil drilling machine is just testimony that the geologists are cracked. Finally arrived at paved road. But my road towards the lake is still not paved. The lake is near. I'd better set up camps before sunset. Otherwise, I have to ride in the night. The more oil drilling machine, the better the road. The oil company is rich, but unfortunately, I have to turn left. It's nine o'clock and the lake is six kilometers ahead from here. Uh, I think I just set up camp on the ground and go to lake tomorrow. Uh, the conditions of the road is not well. Uh, I'd better not risk riding in the night. Pick out some firewoods. This is the only plant around here. Uh, my firewoods left uh, is not enough for two meals. I'll cook here uh, for one meal. And uh, tomorrow in the Indian Lake. I have fried cabbage for dinner. First, discard the outer layers of cabbage. Then scrap it in a bowl. The preparation is done. I'll light the fire. Put the rice in the high pressure cooker. And I can put more and left some rice for tomorrow morning. Add some water and put it on the fire. Wait it for boiling. It's a little windy. Put the garbage bag to stop the wind. When it starts boiling, add the valve and wait for 5 minutes. Put the pressure cooker aside. Uh, 
and start cooking cabbage. Add some oil. Pour the cabbage in. Stir the cabbage. When it's nearly ready, pour soybean sauce. Pour chicken powder. Stir it, and I can eat now. Just for the supper.